Hey, New Mercies, listen, I hope you all are excited as I am as we are entering into our resurrection time here at New Mercies Christian Church. And as we approach this time, we love to take this opportunity to engage the last seven words that our Savior spoke while he was on the cross. And, and, and here's the amazing thing, is some of the most impactful things that we will ever hear from our Savior were said while he was on the cross, sacrificing his life for our sins, sacrificing his life for our life, to ensure that we have the opportunity to live in eternity with him. And so listen, as we engage these last seven words, we will have the awesome opportunity to hear from some of the young adults here at New Mercy's Christian Church in our bridge ministry. And what they're going to do is each day, they're going to give us and we're going to engage in an experience and in a journey of each of the last seven words through their lens, through how they see what our Lord and Savior was saying to us. And so here's what I wanna do. I wanna invite you on this journey. I wanna invite you through their lens so that we can see our Savior a different way and hear His voice in a different way. So take the time each day to engage in this opportunity to hear from our Lord and Savior and to gain a new sense and a new appreciation for His last seven words. I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. When I look at this verse, I'm reminded that Jesus is talking to a thief on the, on the cross. But to understand this verse, I have to look back one verse. Luke 23, 42 reads, Jesus, remember me when I come into your kingdom. We have all done wrong in our lifetime. Even I made mistakes and have done wrong. How do you think God feels about that? 1 John 1 and 9 says, But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to clean us from all wickedness. We must put ourselves in Jesus' position. Our sins we have committed. We know that it is true that those who truly repent will be forgiven by God and be taken into heaven and paradise. God provides us provision, protection, and promise. But what is paradise that Jesus is talking about? A place prepared for us that is even better than famous places we see from the rich and wealthy. God loves a spirit of gratitude. Jesus said in John 14, 2 and 3, there is more than enough room in my father's house. If this were not true, what I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you. When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will be with me where I am. So what does this, what does the cross look like? Wrap your mind around everlasting peace, no illness, hardships, or even foolishness from the devil or those he choose to use. Paradise is the place I wish to go. Hey, New Mercies, listen. Those were our last seven words from our Lord and Savior. Those were the experiences that we were able to, to see through the lens of, of the bridge ministry. And I wanna thank you all for, for taking this journey with us, from being able to experience the pain, to experience the emotion, to experience what it is and what it was that our Lord and Savior was going through at that time and being able to hear what it is that he wanted to get to us and wanted us to hear from him. And so my hope for all of us is that we're able to take these words and to apply them into our relationship with him and to see our relationship with him as, as one that we know that we don't deserve, but one that we were graciously given and that we take this relationship and share it with others that we share this, the pain that he experienced, that, that we sh the share the experience of, of him dying on the cross for our sins so that we may live, 
so that we may not only hear on this earth that we give him glory, but that soon one day we'll be with him and we will give him glory for eternity. And it's an honor and a privilege that we will have to continue to serve him. So thank you, New Mercies, for going on this journey with us. And we look forward to seeing you on Resurrection Sunday.